Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have an unbagging to do today and a completion review to show you. And this is an oldie buddy goodie. So uh, both this painting and this package are from gbfke.com. Uh, this painting I did purchase myself in October 2021. Goodness me. So yeah, this one's um, ooh, not far off two years old. And I've been meaning to do it and meaning to do it. And then I forgot I had it. And then when I was doing my uh, sorting out and putting all my diamond paintings in folders, I found it. And I thought, why have I not done that one yet? So, yep, yeah, that one is my first one for Smashing the Specials, which started on the 1st of August and runs through to the 31st of August. And is hosted by Mindy, Mindy's Diamond Moments, and Brandy, Mystery of Diamonds. So I'll put their details down below. And it is hashtag smashing the specials six so again i'll put those in the uh, details down below as well if you don't want to join in with their event great fun it's my fifth one that i've done so yay like special drills you know i love my specials i like all the leftovers just as much as well <laughs> Okay, so uh, before I get into this package, I will just quickly, as always, tell you about the special offers on at GBFKE at the moment. This picture is still available, so I'll see if I can find the link. Um, I did have a quick flick this morning before I, I started doing my video, so I thought it's only fair to let you know, because I know it's so cute. Anybody that's got uh, a little West Highland white terrier, a little Westie, will absolutely love this one. And they have, if you speak spend let me have a look over 29 euros you get a free gift we like free uh, if you buy one item you get 12 percent off if you buy five items plus you get 13 percent off so yeah you're lucky for some but 13 percent is great and there is uh, free shipping if you spend over 59 euros so yeah excellent value for money and i do love gbfke i've had some fantastic products even before they started sending me um pr packages they are items that they send me out to show you uh, on the channel so i do really appreciate that it's great fun uh, so that's the little package we'll have a look at in a second can you wait i want to get into it and have a look as well because i love getting new things it's like christmas but we'll just have a quick look at this one as i say uh, this is one that i did purchase myself i believe i did do an unboxing on it but i got a lot of gbfk i think mainly there were special drill ones as well <laughs> even right back nearly two years ago but this is just so cute. I absolutely, re well, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, it's got the three different sizes of gems in the background, which despite the fact that this is a blue picture here, this is all pink. Um, I suppose if you've got enough gems, you could have done it blue if you wanted. Yeah, so we have uh, these little square, like hot pink gems here, which I love for the studded collar. They've come out really, really pretty. And then to make the bone, I thought that was an excellent idea. Let me see if I can just get it in focus. They've used hearts look. So the bone shape is like a little rectangle and then they've put hearts in each corner to make up the bone shape. And I would never have thought of doing that. I think that is so clever. I loved that when I did it. And then this has actually got uh, twinklers, sparklers on it as well. Let's see if we can get a bit of sparkle even in this horrible dull light that we've got today. It's got the normal clear crystals on, but then it's also got crystals with like the AB coating on them, an iridescent coating that's sparkly. And then I would never have thought there's actually little bits of gold in amongst this. And when I saw the colour of the ears, I thought, oh, that's going to be too uh, bright, too pink. And I nearly changed it. But actually now it's on the dog um, and it is with the other colours. It just all blends in. I do think they're clever when they do the charting for these pictures. But that was lovely. 11 different gems and colours and it is a 30 by 30. So I will be cutting this one out and it will be going straight onto my uh, Scotty wall. I do have two honorary Westies on my Scotty wall, but I will add this one as a third because that really does look like my little Harvey... Um, that I had my very first dog was a little West Highland white terrier and he was called Harvey and he was beautiful but he was a boy he would be absolutely horrified at wearing a pink collar he was a definite boy dog he was uh, very rough and ready and uh, yeah 
loved rolling around having a good scrap with you please i mean after two years no problem with the gems no problem with the stick on the canvas it just all came together wonderfully i did all the background first what i actually did was um i did the bigger gems first because sometimes you find that the bigger gems with the being a lot round it don't always fit in once you've got the smaller gems on so i did the biggest gems then the medium gems then put all the smaller ones around it and then i just like colored in the middle as i say but yeah that is so cute and has come out so well and oh, i just want to sit and look at it just look at that little nose and the eyes you know there's no gems on those but it doesn't need it because you get more of the expression with there not being any gems you know even these look because uh, if you've ever had a white dog you will know with the best one in the world unless you're cleaning them constantly they do get uh, a little bit of discoloration around their mouth <laughs> Particularly if they eat spaghetti bolognese, but that's a whole other story. I'll maybe tell you about that one one day. <laughs> okay, so I'll just have a quick look at these gems we've got left over. There are quite a few. So, so we had the large pink ones, the gems with the facets, and then the medium pink ones. Again, I used my uh, numbered bags. So I knew if I'd missed one out, I could just go and get that uh, little gem. And then just your standard ones there. So they will go into my standard gems. We've got lots of little hearts. Look, considering we only needed four, we've got an awful lot left over. And I do like the leftovers. We have these gorgeous. Look again. We only needed, what, two, two four, six, seven little squares. And I've not had square gems before. I've had rectangles, but I've not had the squares. So I don't know what I'm going to use those upon, but I will find something. <laughs> and then I will just quickly show you the difference between the standard gems and the, I think, are they sparklers or are they twinklers? I can never remember. But yeah, this is the one with like the iridescent coating. So you get all the different colours, really ice blue and sparkly. And that's just the standard crystal. I mean, they really sparkle, but when you put them next to the one with the extra sparkle on them, it just uh, makes them look a bit dull. <laughs> so that wants to go in my jar. That wants to go in with my sparklers. And then these are just standard gems again left over. As I say, plenty. There was never any uh, worry about running out of gems on this. So wonderful crystals, all oh, crystals. So, yeah, this is what um, I know Mindy, Mindy's Diamond Moment, calls them bubble paintings. Um, I call them full coverage special drill paintings. Probably bubble paintings is uh, a bit better because it's easier to say. <laughs> Okay, so I will get the edges cut off that one. He will go in a frame and he will go on my wall. Sorry, she. Well, I suppose it could be a heat, really. It doesn't matter these days, does it? <laughs> okay, so that is uh, my completion. I will put these down. Uh, I will put these away after the video. What I'm going to do with all my special drills now is put them away as I go along. Um, if you remember the last smash in the specials I did, I think I had an hour plus long video putting special drills away and i have done quite a few of those videos recently so you know i don't want you all sitting and going to sleep while i'm doing that so <laughs> i'm going to do them as i go along i may or may not do them on camera depends how many there are so now let's get a look at this don't forget all the special offers as well oh what we're we gonna get this time so we have oh that looks like a special drill diamond painting and then we have oh I believe that that one is a square diamond painting. Go me, squares. But I do need to start getting some squares to get enough spares for that picture that I'm doing. And another special drill diamond painting. And oh, that one just might be a seasonal diamond painting. <laughs> and then we have a dinky little doodle. Okay. So these I just love. Um, I've had a few of them before and I saw that they are now selling them on the website. And it is a little macaroon or macaron, however you want to pronounce it. And yeah, look, it's just a little container. Oh, oh, and it is full of wax. Oh, I didn't realise you got the wax with it. Oh, that's excellent value then. £1.27 uh, this was. And yeah, I've got four little circles of wax, look. 
so again always remember to take the little plastic cover off the wax <laughs> Yeah, the first time I got these in a little tub, I thought, oh, well, it's in a tub, so it won't have plastic on. And you sat there trying to dig your pen in, thinking, why isn't this working? And then the penny suddenly drops, and yeah, it's got a plastic cover on. Uh, it does come in a six six different colours. This one's the a peppermint cream colour. And yeah, it's got all the edges on it, look, just like a normal uh, macaron, macaroon. What do they call it? The skirt. You're supposed to get that so that you get like the crunchy edge and then you get the soft middle. I believe only from watching cooking programs on television. It's never, ever something that I've attempted. And uh, yeah, my cooking's, well, a whole other story. Uh, so I would never attempt that. I do like the fact that you've got a lid on so you can keep your wax uh, nice and contained. I think this has got, yeah, it has. It's got like a little lip there and a little lip there that just might need to marry up together and then it just closes up. But yeah, I love them when they've got the little lids on. I don't think, particularly, I mean, we have uh, doors and windows open a lot because we have a little Millie Moo, our little Scottish Terrier, who is in her basket next to me at the moment, but she's so curled up, all you would see is a black blob if I tried showing you. So yeah, I won't um, expose her at the moment. <laughs> But, so yeah, we do get dust and a little bit of dog hair sometimes. So keeping a, a lid on things. Plus, I think it stops it from drying out quite so much as well. So yeah, fair stinky little doodah. We like those. We uh, like getting little extras. And if you're sort of like wanting to get up to um, like your five items to get your 13% off, well, add in one of those for £1.27, then get your 13% off if there was only really four things you wanted. So it's always worth a look. Right, OK. So what shall we look at first? Let's look at this one. Let's look at this one. It's a festive one. Oh, my goodness. It's coming up to that time. And as I say, we've been smashing the specials in August. Uh, completely missed Christmas in July. Meant to take part in it, didn't. Uh, I know there was a couple of people doing Christmas uh, events. So, yeah, um, I did miss that one, unfortunately. But I am going to catch up now and do a few specials. And actually, when I was looking through all the specials that I've got, I haven't got that many Christmas ones. I did an awful lot last year. So, this one is a surprise to me because I thought this one was a 30 by 30. But it's actually a 30 by 40. Yay! So, loving the bigger size. And it says, love, look at that. And a little gonk there, look. He is the O. <laughs> he's a little bit rounder, look. So he's the O. And I just thought this was so pretty. And uh, yeah, sharing the love. Oh, that's gorgeous. So we've got pen, boat and wax. Standard little toolkit there. Oh, special drills. Oh, stars. Put them down, Liz. Let's look at the canvas first. Um, oh, I found this bit of plastic as well. You know when you're tidying out and suddenly a bit, of a bit of plastic drops on the floor and you think, oh my goodness, where has that come from? So I'm hanging on to it. It's going to go in that drawer full of all the strange little bits that we don't know where they've come from, but we don't want to throw them away because you can guarantee if I throw it away, I'll suddenly find what it's come off. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's look at this canvas. Sorry, butterfly mind again. Right, so I'd forgotten I'd left it on my desk, to be honest. I probably have been looking for it and it's just sat there looking at me. Just give it a bit of a flatten out. But I just saw this and I thought, this is really, really cute. And it will just go in my frames and go on the wall for Christmas. And as I say, I did have an awful lot last year and I'm going to have even more this year. I think I'm going to have to spread out into the neighbours either side of us and say, look, you know, I've filled my house with Christmas stuff. Can I start borrowing a bit of your space now as well? <laughs> Do you think they'll say yes? <laughs> right, quick measure. It is a white background, but there's so many different colours and bling on this. I don't think really the white background is going to take away from it at all. I think you will just look at the love. Oh! <laughs> So it's 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. You'll generally find that poured glue canvases of this type 
uh, yeah, and 35 centimetres, 13 and three quarter inches. You do lose the little bit, but they do show you on the website now when they show you the picture, um, they do show you that uh, the canvas, well, the drilling area is the little bit smaller and the 30 by 40 is the canvas. So I think that's fair enough. Uh, and if you've got the magnetic frames, I know I bang on about those, but I use them all the time. So yeah, I've got a lot of them as well. Uh, right, so we've got 10 different gems and colours on this one. And what I've decided to do when I start cutting down special drills, um, if I come across, well, when I cut down, I'm going to use the numbers that are on the canvas. So when I'm cutting down this what number 10 here, the Q122, I'm going to put a little sticker on the bag that I put these gems in, Q122. So that then if I get another one um, of the same type, I'll see whether the next one does have the same number on it or whether they are company specific or whether they are um, sort of a generic one that all of the companies use. So we'll see how we go. I know the actual crystals are just numbered sort of like this one, 23, 15, 4 and 27. So they're just sort of like random, well, maybe not random numbers. And I, when I was looking at some of these, it did come up with the last um, one that I kitted down. I looked at the code on on um, the canvas and I did think some of them were familiar um, to others that I've used. So we'll see how that goes and I'll let you know how that goes. I'll probably do a kitting down um, and show you as I'm doing that and we'll see what happens. But isn't this gorgeous? Uh, we've got presents down here. We've got our lovely candle. We've got like uh, a red and green tartany colour. And this one's got a little bit of gingham on it as well with a bit of red thrown over the top. And it's got all Christmas lights strung over it all in different colours. We've got our little fair tree in the background. Fair as in um, fair cones, which are down here. <laughs> Not fair as in what animals have. <laughs> <laughs> our little gonk has got these gorgeous bells there as well so yeah more lights around them all so yeah he could have done with some around his hat couldn't he seeing as he's the o <laughs> and then a couple of little snowflakes just to finish us off so let's have a look and see what colors and specials we've got <gasps> some big ones in this okay so we're starting off with a standard yellowy gold and a little bit of peachy orange a lovely christmasy red Ooh, are they both the same they are we've got two bags of that so that's the main color oh millie's just decided to get out of a basket i think she's maybe getting a little bit spooked because the rain's uh, on the window she doesn't like noises she's not sure of uh, we've got another christmasy green and then lots and lots of little stars. Oh, so the gonk's got all little stars on his hat. Oh, that's pretty. Then we've got the gold semispheres uh, with no facets. Look, and they're the solid gold ones. So are they on the Christmas tree? Yes, that's number seven. So they will be on the Christmas tree, I think. No, no, they're number six. Sorry, I do apologise. Oh, number six are the, uh, the bows. Because uh, we've got gold bows and then on the snowflakes. And then at number seven is the large red semispheres. And they're all on the lights and on the Christmas tree. Some large green. Now they've got facets on. The red ones haven't got facets. These green ones have got facets. And again, there are the lights on the uh, letters. And we've got semispheres in blue with an iridescent coating. They're going to be pretty again as lights. And then just a few dotted little purple ones. So what I've got one, two, three, four ish. And we've got six. So we've got spares on all of them. Excellent. Do like spares. So yeah, I think this is going to be a lovely one to do. And I will be getting it done hopefully during Smashing the Specials. So you will get to see it completed this month. I am putting um, all of my completions onto Instagram as well under the hashtag smashing the special six. So if you want to see any of them there and what everybody else has done as well, you can do. 
uh, yeah, the Westie is already up there. I put that there this morning. That was yesterday's completion. So, yeah, going great guns. I'm going to try and do 31 special drill projects in 31 days. So we'll see how we get on. Um, if I can get sort of 20-ish maybe done, I'll be happy. If I can get 31 done, I'll be over the moon. But we'll see how it goes because I've got some fairly biggish paintings to do as well, which uh, might take me a bit longer to do. But I think this one will be quite a quickish one to do, as I say, only 10 colours, so 10 colour changes. And yeah, he's gorgeous, little gonk with his little gloves. Oh, <laughs> so that is canvas number one. Oh, and the price of him is uh, £5 and £4. We'll leave these squares to last. So this one is a smaller one. This one is a 30 by 30. And the price of this one was £4.19. Again, special drill. Got to get those special smashed. And we have, look at that. Wow, pretty, pretty, pretty. So we've got pen, butt and wax. Your standard little toolkit there. All crystal gems. Oh, and lots of shapes. Okay. But this is some big sunflowers in a mason jar. And I do like mason jars. Uh, this one's one that's actually still got its little hanger on it look. So, oh, what does it say on there? I can't read that. Maybe have to see. Nope, can't read that. I'm trying to work out what the letters are. Is that I? And to think whether it would be jam or something like that. Pickles. No, I don't think it's pickles. Never mind. Anyway, I'll see what it looks like when I <laughs> do the painting. You never know. It could be anything. <laughs> what with my eyesight and uh, yeah, that's in cursive, which is very cursive. So I'm trying to think. Is that an R? I, that looks like could be a B, maybe. I'll have a look when I do it. Unless you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments down below what word you think that one is. But yeah, I just thought, oh, I love sunflowers. Uh, we actually have mason jars with handles on that we use as like mugs, glasses for cold drinks because they're nice and big at the top. And uh, yeah, they keep the ice and things in. So yeah, we like them for nice cold drinks. So this one is nine different gems and colours. We've got two really open sunflowers. We've got one that looks like it's just about to open and one that's half open in the background there. And then the leaves. I just like the colour palette of it. I just thought it was pretty. And I do like my sunflowers as well. So yeah, let's have a look at the gems for this one. Oh, I'll give it a quick measure, but I'm sure. Now then, where did I put my tape measure? It's over there. <laughs> Tell you I've tidied up and I still can't find things. Yeah, it's a 25, 9 and 3 quarter uh, inches, 25 centimetre, 9 and 3 quarter inches painting. So, yeah, again, you know, you, you lose the edge off this one. But yeah, this would be quite pretty in the kitchen, actually. Mm. I am having a bit of a change round. Um, I've moved all the bees out of my bedroom now. Uh, the bee paintings and things, not actual lots of bees. Um, yeah, fortunately not. Oh, I couldn't do with the buzzing on a night. <laughs> Let's have a look at these. Oh, lovely clear crystals. So we've got like a honey brownie colour there. A lovely golden lemony colour. Pale green. Oh, a lovely aqua blue there. And that one's like a very dark sort of greeny grey colour with the silver backing. And then some of the long strands, the long marquees there. I've had those before on sunflowers. And then some large rounds with facets in your gold and some marquees in your gold. And then your little marquees in green with an iridescent coating, which look like they're all going to be on these leaves. So a little bit more of a, a muted colour palette for me, but I think it was very pretty, all your browns and your greens. Just that little bit of jady green there to lift it between the gold. So yeah, very pretty. I like that one. 
nice little project to do. Pop that one to one side and on to the next. This one's a little bit sort of Christmassy-ish and uh, oh gosh, the wind then. I think it might have just blown our dustbin over. I've had something just crash in the back garden. Hmm, okay. Right, so if I suddenly have to disappear, it's because I've seen something go flying down the street. <laughs> right, this one is a 30 by 30 as well. Pen, boat and wax, standard toolkit. And it's a dream catcher, but I thought it was quite a Christmassy looking dream catcher. Um, I suppose it's sort of a night timey one, but it looked to me sort of a bit holly leafish, a bit um, mistletoe-ish. So I thought that would be a little bit different to have on the wall. Oops, that's not worked out very well. Let's try and flatten down rather than just crinkling it all up and making it worse. There you go. So yeah, 30 by 30 again, and we have 13 different gems and colours on that. But I thought that was real unusual when I spotted it, and I do like to get things a little bit different sometimes. I just thought, oh, I like dream catchers. Um, I've had a few in the past, but I just liked the idea of this one being, I say, it did seem to me to be more Christmassy. Uh, I think it's probably the night sky and everything in it, but uh, yeah, these do look a bit hollyish. so once we get it done, we'll see what it looks like. But again, smashing the specials. Right, so let's have a look at these gems. Oh, oh, we've got some in their own separate little bag. Look, they're the large marquees in like a, a goldy, browny colour. And it looks like they're going to go on the middle of the feathers. So uh, it looks like there's four needed and we've got five. So that's good spares. We like spares. And oh, we've got two on their own here. So we've got, oh, look, we've got an AB. So that's a standard white gem uh, and it's got an iridescent coating on, an AB coating. So it just gets that extra little bit of sparkle, a bit like an oil on water effect. And then we've got that gorgeous deep blue there. That is lovely, very fresh blue. Like the night sky, that one. Okay, and then we come to our pockets. So. We've got ooh, a lovely bright orange, a bit deeper green there, and a lighter green, all in crystal. A nice sea blue. And then we've got a bronzy brown colour, a plain silver, and a hot pink. Oh, I didn't know it had hot pink on it. Ooh, is that number nine then? All oh, right, so all of these, here's me thinking they're going to be like red berries, but actually they're going to be hot pink. Wow, that's going to be good. Uh, we've got some little teardrops with no facets and they have got an iridescent coating in the, the white there. And then some white semi-spheres with an iridescent coating, I think. Yes, they have. I was just thinking then, is that just plain white? But no, if you look at the back, that's the plain white and then the actual top of it does have that coating on it. And again, no facets in those. And then lots of little teeny tiny stars that are going to go all the way around the picture. So the middle will be like the main part and then we'll just get that little bit of sparkle around the edges on the sky. Yeah, I think this is still going to be Christmassy even though uh, it's hot pink rather than actually these look a bit fuchsia-ish now I'm looking at them. But yeah, I will probably still put this one up at Christmas. <laughs> okay. Lovely paintings, loving them so far. Yay! Let's, don't forget the extra there in its own little packet. And that's number three. And then at number four. So the price of that one was £4.19. And then the price of this one, it's a full square drill. And it is a 30 by 40 and it was £5.90. I do like the fact that they're doing more square drill paintings now with poured glue, which is wonderful. Just get him out of his packet. And yeah, they're a nice soft canvas as well, these. But look at this one. It says a 30 by 40, but uh, it's got the extra edges on the extra wings. <laughs> on each side with your key codes there 
Uh, it is all numbers and symbols and letters and it gives you all your DMC codes listed here and then it gives you the number of gems that you've got as well. But I just think this is gorgeous. I just love the way those eyes draw you in. And it's like a white snowy owl. Um, with his lovely amber eyes. I just, I don't like owls. Well, I just seem to like everything, don't I? But I suppose it's because I do tend to buy things that I like. So I'm always going to say I like them. <laughs> Okay, so I just put that a little bit of flat and out. Oops. Put a bubble in there and it just went. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he is gorgeous. It's a lovely clear drill field as well. Look at that. I'll just show you around the eye there. Yeah, you can see it's focusing in lovely. You can see all the white lettering on the dark colours and the eye and everything there. Oh, look at all the colours on that eye. That is a lot of colour changing. But it's going to be so good when it's done. So, yes. Uh, this one won't be done for smashing the special. <laughs> but it will be done. It is, uh, yeah, a lovely one. I've got quite a few owls. So maybe I'll do a th an owl theme one month. Um, and put all my owl pictures up when I've got them done. And see how we go from there. So let's see what size is this. Uh, this is a 34 centimetre, which is 13, just nearly 13 and a half inches. And the depth of it is, ooh, just over nine and a half inches, just over 24 centimetres. So, yeah, it's a little bit smaller uh, than your 30 by 40. But again, it's poured glue. They still seem to do that more with poured glue rather than double-sided tape. And yeah, so key codes on both sides. So if you're working on this side, you've got your code here. If you're working on this side, you've got your code there. I mean, you could actually just cut one of these off, to be fair, and just use this on your um, little bottles if you're going to kit it up. But look at this. This one's it kitted itself up, which is lovely. It's all in little grip seal bags. So actually, you don't need anything else. Uh, you don't even need a pair of scissors to do this one. You can just literally crack on and do your painting. Uh, oh, and it's an upgraded toolkit as well. So let's see what we get in this one. So we've got your little tweezers. Uh, great at doing picture framing. If you saw my uh, video of putting my paintings in frames uh, not so long ago. I did use a pair of these for doing that. I don't use tweezers for diamond painting. It's just something I've not done. Uh, we've got a nice sparkly pen, clear pen. So you can actually take the ends off. I usually fill these up with gems um, if you want them a little bit heavier or if you just want them a little bit sparklier. <laughs> a nice pen grip. So if we actually had any hot uh, sticky weather then they're great and um, if you have trouble sometimes it's a little bit easier to uh, hold it with the pen grip on rather than just holding the pen you'll know yourself uh, what's best for you single place at this end uh, we have we've got a four placer on that end and then we have did it tell me it doesn't uh, unfortunately my card's looking worse for wear now because i ran over it uh, with my chair <laughs> so all my little things have dropped off but the drills are still on there so let's have a look is that a nine it's it's a ten placer oh right so we've got a four yep it's definitely a four a four and a ten placer in the new style excellent we've got a huge piece of wax which is four little pieces all together and we've got a little white flat bottom boat with your ridges in there. So, yeah, you've got uh, more than enough there to do your little diamond painting. Nice little extra tool kit there. Okay. You do tend to find that when you do squares, you do get the tweezers in the kits. A lot of the companies do that. Uh, but as I say, something that I've never done is using tweezers. Uh, sometimes if I've put them in the wrong place, I've used tweezers to take the drills off. But not to actually put the drills on <laughs> so let's have a look at these colours wow lots of bags 
because I do like it when they come kitted up. Even if you wanted to put them in pots, um, it does make them easier because they're all in one place. You've not got lots of little bags to open. Or you see, you don't even need a pair of scissors. You can just crack on uh, and get your painting done. So let's just put all these into a number order. There is 35 different colours. Wow, that is a lot. So that's the 20s, that's the teenies. Let's see, that's teeny. Oh, look at these colours. Wow. <gasps> Look at those, these are all going to be the eyes and round his little cheeks. That's uh, there, that's that one. What is our background colour? Oh, 3866 and 3865. Wow. Okay, so we've got the two creamy colours on this one. And 33, 17. Let's have a look, number three. So it is always better when you get a kit, uh, particularly if it's like this. Just um, quickly check off your drills and make sure you have got the right ones um, and that it does correspond to your little to your little key code. Because you don't want to be putting a putting a diamond painting away and then coming back to it a couple of years later uh, and saying, "Oops, I had a colour missing." <laughs> oh dear. I've never had it happen to me. Um, I have had odd ones where colours have been wrong or the wrong colour has been in the kit and I've had them easily rectified uh, from different companies. Um, but yeah, it's just something, I think if you get into the habit of doing it, then you don't get any nasty surprises when you're thinking, I'm going to get that painting finished and you suddenly find you've got a colour missing. So yeah, it is always worth just doing Okay, so we'll start at the back first. So we have uh, number 35 is 3866, 34 is 3865, and then 33, 32 brown, 32, 31. So I'm going to try and put these back in the packet in order as well. <laughs> we can live in hope. All right, 28, lovely peppermint cream green. Not had that colour for a while. 22, 26, 29, and 27, 25, 21, 24, number 20, and number 23. Okay. 25, 26, 27. Oh, I love that colour. 28, 29. Okay. And then the teenies. So 18 is there. 15, 16, 13, 17, 12, 11, 19. So 11, 12, 13. 14 those oranges are gorgeous look at those real autumnal colors as well being a super this one 15 they look like good squares as well but uh, again i do always say if you uh, want to know how good the squares are and how well they fit you do need to do your painting okay and then the last ones so we've got four three one is 310, is it? It is. It starts off with the black 310. Two, three, four, five. These are all the bluey colours and then goes on to greens and browns. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So quite a, a wide range of uh, colours, but a fairly muted colour palette again for me. Mm, different different from my normal bright hot pinks <laughs> so i'll try and keep all of those now together in order so when i come to do it let's see but you can see all your colors look how they all blend in together to do these beautiful look at those eyes They're like hypnotic out of the eyes i love them and his little orangey cheeks as well. I don't know what sort of owl this would be. I know snowy owls don't have uh, little red cheeks like this, little orange cheeks. So maybe he's just sort of a, a made-up owl. I'm not quite sure. Again, let me know in the comments if you know of any owls that have little orangey cheeks. <laughs> 
so we've got a little bit of Christmas. We've got a, a little bit of uh, sort of Christmassy, uh, a little bit of autumn with our sunflowers and then our beautiful owl with his gorgeous eyes looking at you. Oh, and not forgetting our little wax pot holder. So I didn't realise it actually came with the wax in it as well and four pieces, not just one. So excellent value for money. Okay, well, a huge thank you, GBFK, for sending me these. Love them all, as I always do. Um, definitely my specials I'm going to aim to do this month if I can uh, and add them onto the list. And my owl will get done at a later date uh, once August is out the way and then I'll decide what I'm going to do for September. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner over here and the little all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.